deepfake, self-driving car, colorized photos, movement tracking, all those things, how could it be possible? Last month, Facebook AI announced a new technique called Data Efficient Damage Transformers to train computer vision models, shortly called DEIT. Facebook said it achieved 84.2 top one accuracy on the ImageNet benchmark without any external training data. The result is competitive with cutting edge CNNs. Wait a second, what is a CNN? Okay, let's find out DEIT. From the early stages of artificial intelligence development, scientists tried to create computers that could see the world like humans. Computer vision is the result of this effort. In early development of computer vision, everything had to be defined by the developers. The problem was that not all visual systems could be implemented by computer programming. So they decided to use another choice. Another approach was to use machine learning. Unlike previous methods, machine learning algorithms were able to learn themselves through cases. However, early machine learning algorithms still required engineers' work to categorize the image. In 2012, one of the most important developments came out, the AlexNet. In fact, AlexNet's original paper was ImageNet classification using deep convolutional neural networks. This AlexNet used something called a convolutional neural network structure, called CNN. CNN is an end-to-end -end AI model that develops its own features and unique features. CNN learns simple patterns in low layer steps and goes up to the upper layer. By combining patterns, abstracts a more complex image. In fact, CNN had already been announced in the 1990s. However, there were many cases where learning did not work properly. A few years later, several technical solutions began to appear one by one, like the activation function called ReLU. ReLU makes CNN's performance fast. Today, thanks to large computational clusters, hardware, and vast amounts of data, CNNs have been able to develop many useful applications for image classification and object recognition. However, CNN suffers from a change in viewpoint due to rotation or scaling. One way to solve it is to learn AI with 4D or 6D maps, and then detect objects. But that method has astronomical costs. But last month, Facebook AI announced a new technique called Data Efficient Image Transformers to train computer vision models. DEIT requires far fewer data and far fewer computing resources to produce a high-performance image classification model. In training a DEIT model with just a single 8 GPU server over three days, Facebook AI achieved 84.2 top one accuracy on the ImageNet benchmark without any external training data. It's expected to extend transformers to use new cases and make this work more accessible to researchers and engineers who have a shortage of large-scale systems to train massive AI models. Image classification is easy for humans, but hard for machines. Thus, they typically have to see a lot of example images to learn to classify different objects. DEIT, however, can be trained easily with approximately 1.2 million images, rather than hundreds of millions of images. So, how could it work? The first key ingredient of DEIT is its training strategy. Initially, researchers used data augmentation, optimization, and regularization to simulate training on a much larger data set, as done in CNN. Further, they modified the transformer architecture to allow native distillation. Distillation is the process by which one neural network, the student, learns from the output of another network, the teacher. They used CNN as a teacher model for transformer. However, using distillation may hamper the performance of neural networks. To alleviate this, a distillation token is introduced. This improved distillation method is specific to transformers. That's the way how the DEIT is work. Facebook said DEIT is an important step forward to advance computer vision, and they said this work will also help democratize AI research. DEIT shows that it is possible for developers with limited access to data and computing resources to train or use these new models. We hope that it will help foster advances by a larger community of researchers. You can find more information about DEIT open source in the details below. So click the button below the details and don't forget to click on the subscribe button. Please stay tuned on the AI Network channel. We serve the hottest AI topics to you every week. We hope many developers will be inspired by our video to make more incredible fun AI services. Thank you for watching this video. Bye.